updated anyway um, so yes click on current follower faction then press F2 to edit the uh, number and you just want to press 1 and what it will do it would automatically go to minus 1 that's fine that, that's uh, acceptable now these two factions here make this character recruitable which is all fine and dandy now on the relationships tab you want to in this box area right click new ID I'm going to put AA test uh, companion now when it comes to ID you don't want to create the same ID like for, for example if I used AA test companion there which is the name of this character screens gone where's it gone there it is press OK it will come up with forms ID not unique uh, so you want to make it a unique name so you can use a base name and just add Rella for relationship if you don't want it to be too long and the parent NPC is always in regards to uh, the object or actor what have you you are editing so in this instance it's our companion and it keeps going and the child NPC now this relationship in question is in regards to your character so we want to type in player and it will eventually come up and relationship level ally so it means you're automatically an ally of this character and as are you him keywords you can ignore AI data now ideally you only want unaggressive or aggressive very aggressive or frenzy, frenzied gives them an extremely high chance of them going around killing things for example the first time I made a companion I put to frenzied and loaded him up in Riverwood and he killed everything basically um, without any provo provocation and all that aggro came onto my character and that's something you don't want um, so I'm going to go ahead and set in I, I would suggest an aggressive maximum on that one mood uh, no, uh, no real impact on the character except their um, mannerisms maybe their tone of voice it depends on which character or what, what sorry what, what type of character you're going to create I'm going to just put him as disgusted because that's how I feel today late night last night one too many drinks down the pub confidence right um, right same again with aggression you don't want the extremes uh, so I wouldn't go with cowardly or foolhardy uh, just to be on the safe side well if you pick cowardly for example we made a character a companion who's cowardly by all means you can do it if you really want to um, this first sign of danger they run for the hills and <laughs> not maybe it's good for comic effect but not really useful unless backed into a corner um, so I mean if you what I would suggest is cautious average or brave uh, obviously again depending on your character type so I'm just going to put in brave morality um, you could pretty much use what you wish for this but I'm going to, going to use violence against enemies because he's a bit of a bastard and assistance you need to have it as helps friends and allies combat style gift filter aggro radius baby you can ignore really that's no real impact to be honest AI packages now in this list um, this just gives the character life so if you tell them to relax or um, you didn't recruit them or you, you're approaching to recruit them this just sort of gives them life makes them more believable so they're not just sort of standing there looking gauntless um, so what we're going to do we're going to right click in this box add select form will come up type in default and you want the default not default um. Ah, sorry, here we go. Default sandbox editor location t uh, 1024. That's what you need for that. And then you want to go down to this default package list and then type in is it default master. And what these two do, they work in conjunction and it just makes the character more believable um, or when um, adds life to the character so you know when you're in one of the inns and you see the NPCs wandering about and 
getting getting on with their daily lives that's because they usually have default sandbox in it uh, as an ai package list so it just gives it a little something extra and and uh default master package is not sure why that's that sorry default master package list um gives him gives them certain mannerisms uh, responses maybe uh, makes them seem more human as it were now we're going to go onto the inventory tab here and you have your outfits first of all you, you can choose your outfits after i've created this character um i'm going to go over creating a custom outfit using base default armors but for now just for show and tell just give him oh, hide that's rather a barbarian-esque as it were uh, press on preview to the load and there you go there we have it to move the camera you just hover your mouse over this box area click down and just move left click that is sorry right we want to give them sword what I'm going to do is right click new in this box open this object window here drop down box sorry and you want to type in L L for level so L item web oh, that didn't quite work did it L item web still didn't work okay we just have to scroll oh it's here anyway All right, what the level items does it gives the companion a weapon corresponding to their level so you don't want a level 50 companion using a level one sword for example um, what this does this gives um uh, make sure the level levels up with the character um, you can use any one-handed so it can be mace sword uh, war axe or whatever it's called or you can use a specific weapon uh, for, for this i'm just going to use great sword just the standard one because don't want him to have uh, too much power in that sword because again you don't want them killing everything and i'm just going to right click new and add a torch i usually always add torches it just helps when you're in a really dark dank dungeon and there's no luminosity uh, luminosity there to aid you except for your own torch and it just adds a bit more something else spell lists uh you don't really need to worry about these to be honest um, unless you've got a bit, an inkling or, or idea of what uh, magic spells and perks you wish to have for your character uh, you can go ahead and just um, add them like right click new and obviously select form will come up I for example just going to use healing because I usually always put healing on my companions I know it's a bit a bit of an oxymoron really using essential and healing but um, if you're in a heated battle, for example, and you're overwhelmed and your companions go down, but they're essential, they're down and out of the count for a while. Um, what healing does, it gives them the chance to heal themselves so they don't go down so quick, you know, so every little helps, as they say. Perks, if you want to add a perk, you just right click new, uh, right click add, sorry, and it will come up with this uh, select form list as usual. and. Um, I'm just gonna pick barbarian, whatever. No, no, no. What well, you want to, uh, if you know which perks you want to use, go ahead and type them in this filter. If you don't have a clue what the perk names are, there's plenty of websites. Just go on Google and uh, Google Skyrim uh, character perks or what, what have you, and there should be a few wiki pages or what have you. And you just go through and add what you wish. But I mean, you, I mean, if you just want him to support, you don't really need all that. He's already programmed to fight, and he's got his great sword. So you know, there you go. Sounds, animation, attack data. You don't need to worry about character gen parts. This is where we alter the face, uh, facial region, and um, hair and color wise. Now we're going to click on head here, and there's our ugly mofo. Face complexion. <clears throat> Choose what you wish from this list. I'm personally going to use rough too. And hair colour, I usually always use blue black because I like it. And if you want to change the uh, well, the face here, you don't 
need to change really because it's either two choices you've got the mannequin 